My name is Verena Schäper. I'm leading the research group Pharmacology of the Inner Ear at Hanover Medical School. And my research group is located in NIFE, that's the Lower Saxony Center for Implant Research and Development. In 2019, the ENT department of Hanover Medical School started a response project on developing individualized implants. And in 2020, we bought the 3D bioplotter from Desktop Health. The main requirements to print an external ear canal implant are, at first, that it's easy to use. We are talking about individualized implants which are implanted in patients. So the surgeons, the clinicians, need to work with the system so it has to be easy to handle. Then we have the precision. The system allows us to very precisely print an implant individualized for that specific patient. So we want to have individualized implants because we are dealing with body niche which are, which are very precise. The printing has to be reliable. At that time point when the surgeon wants to have an implant printed, the system has to work. The printing has to be reproducible. And for this, we have to have the same building, so the same implant, printed a few times to compare it for quality management. And the system is easy to clean. We use the imaging, X-ray images, to create our implantations so that we could prepare good uh, or material for the patients at the surgery day. One of our first applications uh, of this new technology was for the stenting of an reconstructed outer ear canal uh, in a child that suffered from congenital atresia of this outer ear. So the idea of a stent is to prevent this scar formation by filling out the uh, ear canal with the patient-specific printed stent and this stent releases anti-inflammatory drugs and also antibiotics through this process of healing in order to avoid this scar formation and suppress the post-operative inflammation and trauma reaction. This system, the Bioplotter, this manufacturing series, are really made for that and ideal for many of uh, the clinical problems uh, to be solved uh, we face today. We have pioneered the use of this 3D printing Bioplotter for uh, human use. We will have a second printer in the beginning of 2024 and this printer will be set up in the clinic so that the clinicians can directly print at site for the patients. We will in future develop other drug releasing implants not based on silicone but on other materials so that we will have enhanced a system which is biodegradable over time so that we do not have to explant the individual implants anymore. We print patient individualized drug eluting implants for our clinic and we treat our patients in-house but there are 100,000 of patients worldwide who will benefit from patient individualized drug eluting implants.